Hey you guys, this is Guy Stevens. I just saw a question on the FileMaker forum of someone who was asking how you could use for like a chemical um, type situation, you could use like icons or sort of warning signs uh, that you could display on a layout. Um, I thought that was an interesting question, so I made a quick little example, and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have one table, like you can see here, it has a couple of um, different uh, labels, like chill, not urgent, a little bit urgent, very urgent, critical, and every label has its own little um, drawing, little icon, so we can just kind of go through them right here. And I would like to see these kind of icons show up in my other layout, which is a related layout, and it is, in this case, it's like a task type situation where you can set a certain urgency and then uh, depending on the urgency that you select, that corresponding image shows up next, um, next to your task, if you will. And I've basically showed two different techniques of how you could do that. This one is a slightly different technique and um, then you can kind of see the difference between how this would work. So you can basically see two different ways of how you can uh, perform a little something like this. So let's not waste any more time and let's see how this can be built. So let's build our database. Let's create a new database and I'm gonna say give me um, all right, so I'm going to call this one warning2 because I have just made a test version already. All right, when this happens, FileMaker opens up and gives me already um, uh, immediately a table. Let's go to File Manage Database and we will see that FileMaker has made me a warning table. I don't like that name too, so let's change it. Warning is good. I can use that. I'm going to double click this one and I'm going to start adding some fields into my table. As always, I start with an ID because I don't know if I might need that one and I always set this one to auto enter serial number that's cool now I'm gonna use this table to store my uh, images and I would like to have not only an image but also a label that tells me what this image is about and this one is going to be a text field and then I'm gonna have to have my actual image in there as well but images are always stored in a container field so let's create those kind of cool let's have a look because FileMaker already created this layout before I added my fields nothing shows up on uh, this layout but that's okay I've got my field picker if you don't have it you can go to view field picker and if you don't have this like if you have an older version of FileMaker you can just use your field tool up here to drag fields down but I've got my field picker so I'm gonna select all my fields right here and I'm gonna drag them on my layout okay bye bye field picker I don't need you anymore and I've got exit layout this looking kind of cool. I can't add anything until I add a new record, but now let's go in and right click on my image and let's say insert picture. All right, so I've got a few uh, cool pictures, uh, like for instance this one, and this is my chill picture. I'm gonna add a new one and I'm gonna say insert picture, and this is my not urgent guy. There, I'm gonna add them all real quick. There, and so I've added my images and I've got critical, I've got very urgent, a little bit urgent, not urgent, and chill. So those are my warning pictures and I've got uh, nice labels for them and IDs, so that's really cool. Now I'm gonna use them. Uh, I'm gonna use them in a different table. What shall I have? Let's say for instance that I have tasks that I wanna do. Um, let's make a tasks table. Let's double click this one and let's add some fields. As always, I'm gonna add an ID number field that's set to auto enter serial number, so that's kind of cool. I've got my task that I wanna do and that's gonna be a text field. Then what else do I need? A date. Could be a date, that's the creation date. I've got um, a status, could be a text. And then I've got my urgency, which is gonna be a text as well. Okay, let's create this and let's have a look. FileMaker this time did create a layout for me with some fields on there. I'm gonna create a new record and I'm gonna start entering some data. Let's say um, pay taxes is a uh, thing that I need to do. All right, let's um, see, I've got my status and my urgency. Let's go into edit layout. I don't need to see my ID because I don't care about my ID. My tasks is something I do need, but my date is something that I can kind of stand off to the side because I probably don't really need to worry about that too much. And I'm gonna say, give me a data 
drop down calendar for this okay cool and then my status could be complete or incomplete so let's make a radio button set for this let's hit that pencil let's hit new for a um, status value list that has completed and incomplete now um, if we want for these values to be filled in correctly and I'm like if you make a new task that task is by definition going to be incomplete so we could go to file manage database and we could say my status needs to have an auto enter value of incomplete okay okay so that as soon as I make a new record this is already immediately filled in as being incomplete so so that you don't have ever have any um, tasks where the status has not yet been filled in so um, I've got this field is also um, showing up as like the first field where I want to enter some data but I don't really want to enter data in there the data is already entered so I'm going to set my tab order and I'm going to say that I want this field to be my field number one and then this one can be my field number two and then this one my field number three and this one I don't even want to go there so I'm going to delete that and I'm gonna hit OK right here I'm gonna exit my layout and now if I make a new record I will have my task call boss and I'm gonna tap in here and I'm gonna tap in my urgency and now um, the date just stays there to the side and that's kinda of cool now my urgency um, how shall I enter some values into this field um, I could go here and say give me a drop-down list and give me a new drop-down list new let's say urgency and then I could use values from a field because I have these values in my warning label I have a bunch of values here so let's see now I can select my values and that is kinda cool okay what can I do now to get this image up here uh, file manage database we have to actually relate this field like this urgency field this one is where it says critical but it also says critical let's go in here it also says critical in my warning label so this warning label is critical and my tasks urgency is also critical so those two have the exact same value and if I relate them together and I hit OK then what I can do is in my edit layout I can use this field tool right here to drag a field down and then I can choose from my warning my image and I've created a label but I don't really need that one I'm gonna make this one a bit bigger like so and if I hit exit layout then I will see that whichever value I choose here this image is gonna show up and if I want I can go into edit layout uh, because I, the images that I'm using are PNG images they have transparency in the background so what I can do is I can go to appearance I can say that my fill color needs to be transparent and my line needs to be none and if I do that then my image is, uh, is just showing up without any borders or edges or anything like that so that's kind of cool now what's going wrong with this or what is not perfect first of all I've got these things sorted by alphabet which is kind of cool but those are not really the warning levels in the correct order I've got a little bit urgent before chill and then immediately after that I've got critical so that's maybe not entirely ideal how can I fix this well with value lists I don't have a lot of possibilities to sort them so I have to uh, maybe cheat a little bit so let's go to file manage database what I can do in my fields right here um, I could say in my um, warnings right here I could make a C label and number field which is a calculation field and I could say give me my ID because the ideas are in the correct order or I could make a separate sort field where I put numbers and I'm gonna say and give me a space that's like a space between two quotation marks and give me my label this is going to result in a text not a number so when we hit OK OK and we go here then we could go to this table view we could hit modify and plus a C label number and then we can see that I've got one chill two not urgent so now I can sort uh, these guys 
in my uh, drop down list so that's kind of cool let's go here let's go there let's go to data let's edit this one and then let's edit this value list and then let's say I would like to see not the label but my C label number so that's my number plus my label if I do that then I'm probably going to break something but that's okay we'll fix that when it's broke the thing that we were focusing on right now is getting our different urgency, urgency levels sorted correctly in our drop down so I've got one chill all the way up to five critical it's like my urgency level so that's cool that's showing up only problem right now if I select something my image disappears because now I've got four very urgent in here and that's not really um, working anymore my relationship has now been broken so let's go back to here and let's see I'm relating label to urgency but in urgency the number shows up as well so I have to do uh, this one is now going to be related to this one so I'm going to change that okay okay and my image shows up again all right so this is really cool and this works pretty well but there is one little problem with this if I would now for instance go and say that um, I've got this one as chill and I go to my warnings and I say hmm, this chill level uh, I don't really like that lame that name I'm gonna call this chilled out to the max okay that's how I'm gonna call this one now if I go back then all of a sudden my chill image is not showing up anymore because I've changed the name and now this is kind of broken my not urgent still shows up but um, my chilled was broken now if I select that chilled again now it's going to show up again because um, now I've kind of fixed this relationship now this has a different value but you can see that uh, by changing your warning sign labels you can break these things now how can we do this better so that we can make this work is to not make the relationship based on a text label number but to use the ID I've got my, my, well, my warnings have an ID number. I'm never going to change that ID number, but I might change those labels. So I'm going to use um, uh, the ID of the warning in my tasks list. So I do have to have the ID of the label stored in here somewhere so that I can make a relationship based on the ID and not on a text field. Okay, that means that in my tasks, I have to add a field called warning warning IDFK that's what I'm gonna call it because it's going to be the ID of the warning field is gonna show up in this table and that's called a foreign key don't worry about it that's just how they call that let's create this one that's a simple number field and now I can add that number field to my layout I can just drag it over here I'm gonna put it down here and I'm gonna say give me from my tasks my warning IDFK field let's make it a bit bigger and that's kind of cool because I can give it um, a value list drop down list let's see can we use this one nope because in this field I need to have my ID so I need to create a new value list warnings by ID and I'm gonna say use values from the field warning I need my ID to show up in this field so that's the first one but I don't want to worry about the IDs I want to display my label um, or even my C label number because then they will be sorted correctly I'm gonna show only the values from the second field and then I will be automatically sorting my values by the second field so that's kind of a good idea let's hit OK and see if this is already working we've got them all sorted correctly so that's good I can select any value that I want but now only the number shows up in this field and that's uh, not really cool I would like to see the actual label so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control in Windows and I'm gonna drag this field so that I'm copying this field and then I'm going to get from my warning I'm gonna get my label and I don't want to have a label for this field I'm gonna hit OK and actually I can just leave this here for a moment uh, so you guys can see if I select something here like very urgent then very urgent should show up here it's not showing up here yet because actually I forgot something let's go to file manage database I have not yet made a relationship between this ID number and my label so I'm gonna have to do that first 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this one a color so that when I copy this one, I'm going to control drag, or you can also click those two plus errors right here. I'm going to control drag this one over here, and I'm going to say warning underscore tasks. And then I'm going to relate this ID number here to this ID number there, because those are going to be holding the same value. And if I do that, edit layout, and I change this label to become the label of the oops warning tasks table occurrence then this is going to work I'm gonna see a little bit urgent and that shows up in this field as well not urgent chill that to the max now I can add my image I can basically control drag copy this one down here and I'm gonna say I want that image but from the warning tasks table occurrence and not from the other one okay because those are related now I can say a little bit urgent there now this is kind of silly, those two fields, so I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do. This label needs to be an edit box, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on top of that one, so that you can see this one, but use that one. In order to see this one I'm going to, and not use this one, I'm going to say that this one needs to be unavailable in browse mode, and it needs to be an edit box, that's cool. This one is still a drop down, that's cool. It's available in browse mode, but I'm gonna make it unavailable in find mode. Okay, so I'm gonna control, uh, shift click both of them so that I got them both selected. I'm gonna align them left and bottom so that they show up on top of each other. And if I go into browse mode now, I've got my IDFK field that's in the bottom and if we click it, we can see it. The number is showing up here. So now I'm basically editing that ID field, that IDFK field and then I can select a value here and then I can only see the name, the name shows up here, so that's kind of cool. Um, and this is working as well, that's kind of awesome. Let's quickly go and have a look here into the layout set tab order. I've got these tabs here on my images, I'm gonna get rid of them because otherwise I always get this big border and I'm gonna set this one as one, two, three, I'm gonna set this one as four. Oh no, that's not correct. Let's cancel this for a second because right now I've got a hidden field underneath here. I'm gonna uh, move this over for a second and I'm gonna go back to set tab order because I want one, two, three, and then four to be that ID field, but this one I'm never gonna go in there, so I want it like this. Okay, I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna go to this image. Okay, this is kind of cool. Now I can select these again and align them on top. Okay, I've got critical, chilled out to the max, that's good. All right, this is all cool. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the first one, chilled out to the max, and this one too. And now I'm gonna show you that when you go to your warning and you change your label right now, let's say you have thousands, thousands of tasks already made and you think that that label is not good, you wanna change that label. If I go back to my tasks, here there is no problem because I'm, these things are related by the ID and the ID number is still the same, it's still number one and my label has changed here, so that's cool, no problem, everything is up to date, but here my image has disappeared because this one still says that its urgency is chilled out to the max, but that urgency level doesn't exist anymore because I've made that relationship based on the text, so that's a bad idea. I can fix this now by, by selecting this one again and then my image does show up again, but you can see by that uh, making relationships based on a text or like a person's name or something like that is always going to be a bad idea. Alright, so this is a little fun uh, little exercise. I hope that you guys can use this in your database to make your database a little bit more fun and um, you can see, you can learn from this that making relationships is very important to do that using the ID serial number. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao!